hello Scorpios I'm Luchan Devi with Power Life Hypnosis and this is your mid-August 2019 love and romance reading as always thank you to all of those who thumbs up and like my videos thank you to all of those who share and comment and thank you to all of my returning viewers my returning subscribers as well as all of my new viewers welcome to my channel and thank you to all of my new subscribers I appreciate the support from all of you so much to book a private reading with me visit my website powerlifehypnosis.com you can also book a reading with me through the description box below if you have an iPhone or an iPad you can contact me at any time through the free instant go app send me a message I will respond within 24 hours and this is best if you would like any immediate assistance predictions or guidance messages also you can go ahead and follow me on instant Instagram I keep getting those confused instant go Instagram on instant go as well as Instagram I have a new Instagram uh, where I'm posting weekly daily weekend monthly predictions fortunes guidance messages uh, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well power life hypnosis uh, if you would like to know your future long-term partner is when where how you meet your partner what your partner will look like or if you would like to confirm your partner if you would even like to confirm the intentions of someone that you are dating that's actually better for a private reading but if you would like to confirm who your future partner is or you'd like to know more about your future partner when where how you meet your partner what your partner will look like recognize your partner additional details that I only discuss in readings as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with your future ideal partner and your most fulfilling relationship Relationship, book a future partner reading with me now through the description box or again you can also do so at my website powerlifehypnosis.com and of course Scorpios this is a general reading so the messages may may not resonate if they do not go ahead and check your moon and rising sign videos as those messages may you can also check sun moon and rising for a more complete picture of your love life during this portion of August 2019 so I am doing this reading a little differently. Uh, I am actually uh, pulling the prediction right now. I started this reading already and somehow ended up stopping the video. So I do have some cards here and then uh, I have been shuffling uh, and pulling some cards or allowing cards to come out on their own. So, all right, we've got some good messages here. Let's see where this goes. Okay. so. I already did uh, pull the theme of what you're going to experience as well as your guidance so we can cut down on some time. So let's go ahead and get into those messages now. My Scorpios, regarding the overall theme, the overall energy of your love life during this portion of August. <sighs> let's see. I like. I have here the cards of movement and wishing. I feel like I should have used my Scorpio mug during this time. I'm not a Scorpio, but my mom is, so I have my Cancer mug and my Scorpio mug. Okay, so oh, I like this energy and just what I'm feeling here. Okay. So regarding the overall energy, this is what I'm picking up with this wishing, I'm sorry, this movement and wishing cards. Many of you are in a place where in your love lives, you may be moving forward from being single or even feeling defeated or not having a lot of hope or faith or trust in love. I'm feeling as though there may have been some uncertainty or doubts or confusion or challenges in your love life in the past. And perhaps the recent past because it's easy to say okay we had that in the past yes many of us have experienced that in the past but I'm talking about something that's more fresh or something that is still fresh in your mind or significant for you in some way now I 
I'm even hearing and picking up that for some of you, it may feel like that has thrown your equilibrium off in love or your strength off in love, causing you to feel a little more vulnerable. I don't want to, not weak, because weak isn't it, vulnerable or uncertain in love. Now, I also heard the word delays in my inner ear. So for some of you, there may have been some delays in love. Wanting things to happen, things are happening in the timing that you wish. Uh, obstacles. However, you, Scorpio, are in a place of power, strength, and resilience in that you have been choosing you've made the conscious decision and the choice to get back up again to continue moving forward to not allow people from the past to hold you down or hold you back any further any longer you're moving into the direction of your dreams, your wishes, your hopes, your desires, what it is that you seek to manifest in love. So you are moving from a place of or an energy of darkness or desolate. So desol desolous? De that's not a word. Desolous is not a word. You know, I'm trying to say things are desolate. You know, darkness, um, lack of fertility, lack of growth. Things kind of dull and unfulfilling, so to speak, in romance. Two, an opening up of that energy. Two, the sun shining through the darkness and the clouds and the confusion and the uncertainty and and. The worry or the sadness or even self-doubt I'm feeling or, you know, just some kind of challenging energy or blockages in love. You're moving forward through the blockages. Some of you may be using the blockages that you experience or the experiences that you've had as stepping stones to provide you with more guidance, wisdom, direction moving forward. That's a message that I'm hearing as well. So I'm feeling as though many of you Scorpios are moving into a place where things are brightening up, opening up. They're looking more fertile. Not necessarily as in pregnancy or Fertile is in baby fertile, but fertile is in the soil of your love life. Has nutrients. It's it's fertile. So because of that, all that is needed is the water to grow something beautiful. And this water is what I'm hearing. Oh, I'm getting some good channel messages for you guys. So the water, the fertilization, what I'm hearing can water this to manifest what it is that you want in love is one, how you care for, how you look after, how you treat yourself, your self-love. Because we cannot give away what we do not have. So we don't have enough self-love. If we don't have enough love already within us, we cannot really give love to another. Instead, when we are lacking or absent of self-love and we go into a love relationship, what we are doing instead is looking for them to provide us, for the love, provide us with the love that we are having given to ourselves. And that doesn't really work in healthy, interdependent relationships. Okay. 
So what I'm also getting is many of you may have a brighter perspective on love at this time. More hope, more faith, more knowing of who you are and your lovability and how attractive you are and how amazing you are and how you are the prize and how anyone is lucky to be with you, especially if you are single, but no matter what. Okay. So that's the end of the channel messages there that I was getting. Um, I did have some other messages there, but they kind of slipped. So if they come back, they come back. So you are moving out of this period of lack or unfulfillment or slow going or challenges or whatever it is. And you are embracing a new energy of hope and faith when it comes to love. Thinking about what it is that you want, what it is that you wish for, and knowing that if you put in the right efforts and energies, you are manifesting this. Because it's time. I just heard that. Because it's time. So, uh don't know how exactly that manifests with you, but I just heard because it's time. It's time. So you're moving forward into the direction of what you want, wish, aspire for, desire when it comes to love and romance. Things are blossoming. New energy is unfolding bright new energy <sighs> wow you guys i'm getting a lot of channel messages i haven't even gotten into the reading yet it's 12 minutes okay so wow and it's 12 22 so there's a new beginning in your partnerships manifesting at this time many of you are bringing balance because you've learned Many of you are bringing balance or what you've learned in previous relationships as I'm looking at the clock is benefiting you or will be benefiting you in some way. Okay. And transitions. Transitions. This is awesome. I really, really dig this. There's growth. Fresh, new experiences all right so let's go ahead and get into this before this reading is like two hours long you know before you got to grab a snickers because we're going to be here for a while okay uh, bam let's start here so we're going into our predictions now bam exactly exactly new beginnings new energy new energy mm-hmm mm-hmm okay So, see what we got here. All right, so that's the energy. Now, what is the prediction? What is something that is going to uh, take place here? Now, what I can see here is In light of, who? wow, okay. In light of this energy, because you are moving forward in the directions of your dreams. Some of you may be doing something a little different or looking at things a little differently in a, in a, in a smarter way, in a more empowered way. And the example that is coming to me is, the example that is coming to me is, okay, so let's get a little, a little real in this because this is, you know, well, maybe not so serious, but this is what's coming to mind. 
What's coming to mind is some of you Scorpios, especially if you have been dating or getting to know people or, inter you know, just open and getting to know people. You may have connections or you may have formed connections or you may have been interested in others and they may have been interested in you or they may have been dates and uh, coming together and, and, and even connections or even um, relations, you know, things occurring between you two. However, not everyone that you met or that you came in contact with or that you connected with may have been right for you. Because there may have, oh my gosh, I'm just, wow, this is like just a channeled, I'm glad this is going to be my last, no wonder, I always ask my guides which reading should I do in the order that I do them and it picked just these readings today and this one for the last one and I can see why because this is a, 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 a lot of heavy energy here. Okay, so what I'm picking up is many of you may have been in a connection or again a situation where Or even what did I situationship? It's funny. I, I said that word like over a year ago, and now I hear it all the time. It was a Freudian slip that I made a year ago. Now I'm hearing it all the time. So you guys know what I mean. Okay, so you may have a situationship or a relationship or a connection or something, or have had it where it may not have been the best for you, even if it was fun or delightful or entertaining for time being. It may not have been a, the best for you. And the reason why is I heard an energy of toxicity or codependency and maybe not even being aware of how codependency affects our relationships and our connections or how we relate to others through the energy of codependency. So yeah, okay, that, that message is ending there. So that is what I heard, okay? And this is not necessarily, you know, this isn't a negative thing or to like call anyone out or anything or, you know, but this is us kind of seeing, okay, I see how things within me that need to be healed or transcended or taken a look at or I see how my patterns or my upbringing or my parents divorce or my childhood experience or I see how whatever may affect how I relate to others or how I connect to others or how I relationship as a relationship or a verb how I relationship how I relate which is the verb of it so now we may be Keeping our eye on the prize and know what I want. I understand that. If I keep doing the same thing and expecting this, expecting different results, that's the definition of insanity. I have to do something different. I have to do something new. I have to come across in a new way or I have to shift my tactics, my game plan to get what it is that I truly seek because that hasn't really been working for me. So what can I do even slightly different? to experiment or to bring about a different result. Accordingly, who? Accordingly, it appears as though many of you may choose to um, kick someone to the curb or, you know, not engage with someone. Um, for many of you, there may be a male, especially for females, if you're male dating males, you know, there may be um, a situation where it's just, you know, it doesn't seem as though it's going to play out for you in the way that you want or, you know, there's something there here. There's something there. There's something there here. There's something there. Watch the uh, August reading if you haven't, as that reading may provide more insight. But it's like, you're bringing about a new beginning. You know how to make this happen. So for many of you, this may be somebody new or this may be somebody who's already in your life. Where 
you may have to Huh. There's two different ways that I'm picking this up. You may have to say thanks but no thanks to someone who is very interested in you but you know isn't right for you. So you may have to say thanks but no thanks. Because some of you may be dealing with somebody who may be a little manipulative and this may be what I'm hearing is covert, covert manipulation. So it may not be in your face. It may be very, very subtle to where you are, where it's not easy to pick up. To where it's not easy to pick up. But you may feel that something's not right. You know, you may feel that something's not right. So you may have to say during this time, you know, yeah, I'm not really going to move forward with this. Thanks, but no thanks. Because some of you would rather be on your own and more comfortable on your own than dealing with someone's bull, you know? I do feel as though there has been a temporary delay, or I see here rather that there's been a delay here, a temporary delay, a temporary blockage in your romantic relationships, but at the same time, even if you have been on your own and been single for a while, Even if you've been single for, for a while. Now, this is for most of you, okay? Yes, you want less of being on your own. You want less of being single. So many of you may have been single for some time. Many of you may have been single for some time. Okay? Accordingly, you have been feeling this block, this delay here. And you may be seeking a connection. Accordingly, you are continuing to move, to move forward. You are putting the effort, the action. You may be getting out there. You may be dating. You may be meeting new people. Talking to, talking to someone new. Putting in that action. Putting in that effort. Not to say that it's a lot. But you're at least taking the steps. We have to at least do something, right? It's not like marriage is going to just... Knock on our door one day. I mean, it can. Hey, anything's possible. Nevertheless, you are moving forward in that direction. Therefore, this sense of being alone or single or things not moving forward or, you know, doubts or uncertainties or whatever this is, anxieties, worries, trepidations about love. Uh, I'm getting an, what's the word? I'm getting an energy, but I can't think of the word. Uh. Not disconnected, but it's kind of the energy of like, mm, no, I don't trust. Or like, no, I'm not certain. Or no, I don't. Mm -mm. Can't think of the word. It's like hesitation. Uh, just a no. That, you know, it's like if you can, whatever, the, whatever word comes to your mind when I do that, no. That's, you know, the proper word, all right? So... You are getting rid of something, whether this be a way of thinking, whether this be a person who's no longer serving you, whatever this is, you are getting rid of something or someone. In order to move forward into a long-term relationship or marriage or something solid or something positive. So you're getting rid of being either, either being single or you're getting rid of someone who's not serving you because you deserve better and you want better. So whatever that is, you are removing this energy from your life. You're moving forward because you are moving into something better. You are committed to taking the next step. You are committed to moving forward. You are moving forward towards what you wish, hope, and dream for and desire in your heart of hearts. Even if you're okay being single, 
We all want connection at the end of the day because we're human beings, you know? We're human beings, right? It's Adam and Eve, not just Adam all there by his lonesome talking to nobody or himself or Eve all by her lonesome. We're meant to relate. So you are sweeping away and getting rid of that which takes you away from that as you are eager, you're ready, you're committed to taking the next step so you're moving forward towards what it is that you desire. Now, what I can see here is Connections that are built right now are built during this summertime. So July, August, you know, June, July, August, during this time until the beginning of September. Things are going to unfold in perfect timing. And it may be a significant amount of time, even over a year, before things really solidify in the way that you desire or before you see the ultimate outcome that you see which is okay because it's a it's about the journey not the end result not the outcome and what i'm hearing is during this time is the perfect time to again work on yourself and loving and being your best self so you can bring your best self to this connection and ensure something positive fulfilling mutually beneficial for the long term so we can remove so we can extract so we can transcend lower vibrations that may filter our way of looking at love and relationships that we may have picked up from previous partners from parents from childhood from early experiences however that manifests from music from tv whatever it is there's an energy that needs to be transcended here and this is the opportunity to do so as we are taking our time but keep moving forward in the direction towards your dreams and things are going to manifest for you in a bright and beautiful and fulfilling way more beautiful and amazing than you can perceive from your current vantage point right now. One year from now, when we are here together, Scorpios, we're going to be talking about some beautiful things going on in your love life. One year from now, you know, and, and, and as we move forward in a year from now, right? So, just watch for that. It's going to happen. Things are going to be great. I'm hearing many of you may be dating, meeting new people, socializing, getting out there, online dating, clubbing, you know, putting yourselves out in front of others. And that's a wonderful thing to do. Do that as that can strengthen your chances. Okay, so Scorpios, just have the need to choose a few more cards. Okay, so you know how to make it happen. The way that you can bring this about, the way that you can bring this about is yes, be calculating in this. Be calculating and not in a, a take advantage of another person way, but be calculating in that. It is just kind of, uh, I don't know if it's fact um, or an unspoken or, I, you know, you guys are going to know what I'm trying to say. Huh, there you go. Thank you for these, for the way to say it. As we work on our spiritual, mental, emotional health, our well-being this card keeps coming out too as we introspect work on ourselves reflect 
take time to heal as we push through challenges all these things that increases and raises our love vibration that increases our attractability as we look in the mirror and tell ourselves how wonderful and amazing we are like we look in the mirror like i'm fine like cardi b right that increases our energy it's like a positive affirmation every time so the more you increase your attractability and your attractive energy take care of yourself have fun your work put energy into your happiness your hobbies removing things that are not beneficial for you all those things this is increasing your attractive energy and bringing about more fulfillment stronger connection in this relationship all right so let's go ahead and move forward here um all right so i was trying to keep these readings shorter this one came out a little bit longer so uh we got through a lot of the messages here we do have this card of worth waiting for so divine love divine romance is worth waiting for is worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so again we did have that energy of things taking their time you know things evolving slowly things not uh coming up, up about quickly but this is more of a past energy coming in so know that divine timing is at work here so do not be discouraged do not be dismayed do not give up do not fear you know the lord your god is with you everything is working out in divine ways in divine time now just as we we're speaking of before these cards came up in the reverse these cards came up in the reverse and they came up together so there is a need to release and surrender codependency so one thing that can benefit you scorpios most at this time is being aware self-aware of what are my intentions as i go into this relationship as i go into this connection what are my intentions as i go into dating what are my intentions am i low am i low, low? what am i bored am i lonely am i tired am i uh feeling unlovable am i feeling unfulfilled am i you know it's like what are my intentions why is it that i want to be in a relationship why is it that i want to love why and if you're like well i just want a relationship well, i just want I, I just want love or i just want you know i want entertainment you know sometimes we go into relationships because we want entertainment sometimes we date because we want attention or we want affection or we want somebody around or we feel lonely or anything like that and if that is the case that is a clear indicator that we need to provide that to ourselves first as that is that act of self-love and as we increase that self-love then we go out and we engage in these connections and then we go about them in a way where not only are we a better partner better you know person to connect with but also we uh lessen our chances and our ability or our capability to be taken advantage of when somebody's offering it what it is that we feel like we lack we're lacking because we can get into relationships with people for example say we're feeling broke and somebody comes to us and they're like you know i can give you this and i can take you on trips and i can give you the moon and the world and the sun and the stars and i'm gonna pay for that i'm gonna buy you this i'm gonna give you gifts what is that relationship built on love or the void that they're filling so because we have this codependency coming up addictions are affecting your romantic life be very clear and certain in your motives of why you are loving why you are going into your relationships why you are doing this because if it's anything other than I, i'm just so lovable and i love you know and i want to love and i want to give love to another if it's anything other than i want to give love please take a look and reconsider and reconfigure that if it's anything other than I want to give love 
and just give my love because I have so much love to give and because I'm human and because humans like to connect and we want to connect. If it's anything other than that, look at what your motive is and do some work on that on your own first, please. It will not harm you or do wrong by you. It will, it will have no negative repercussions by doing so. Okay? It's worse to go into a relationship regardless of those and hope for the best because that doesn't mean that things are going to manifest in the best way. So release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges or the codependency in this case that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your arms, open your hands, and open your heart to our love and assistance. Okay. Now, enjoy getting to know this person. Enjoy getting to know these people, this person, whatever it is, however this speaks to you. Getting to know each other. So you are getting to know someone. So as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Enjoy this energy of getting to know one another, to connecting, to relating, to enjoying another's company. You are going to be getting to know one person, different people. So enjoy. And again, as you enjoy this moment fully as you enjoy yourself as you enjoy your life you're able to attract romance to you so this is about attraction the law of attraction and through the law of attraction we bring to us what we vibrate what we give out so if we give ourselves love if we are loving if we think loving thoughts if we feel lovable if we cultivate if we write affirmations on our mirrors with uh whiteboard markers or dry erase markers that we are lovable all those things help to increase our attractability and our on our attraction and our love vibrations so now's the time to focus on loving thyself being that best being your best self in order to attract love and enhance your loving vibration so uh your affirmation here is the affirmation of ownership so this is your affirmation ownership what the heck? I'm sorry. I just got my nails done yesterday and all of a sudden I got no nail on the top. Anyway. Ownership. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus help me. Okay. I take ownership for how I make others feel and I do my part to repair any bridges that I might have burned or perhaps even lightly singed. So let's take ownership. Let's take ownership regarding how we love, the energy that we bring. Because look, it's like that one. Okay, so I'm going to use a different nail because, okay, whatever. Okay, this here is a burnt match, right? So this burnt match is like crumbling the whole bridge. It has the ability to bring down and deconstruct the whole bridge here. So we must take ownership for the foundations that we build. And that starts with ourselves. So we take ownership for how we make others feel. I take ownership for how I make others feel and I do my part to repair any bridges I may have burned or even lightly singed. If bridge mending feels impossible, then I can start small. I can start small, right? I'm releasing and surrender, surrendering codependency. Instead of becoming a bridge architect, maybe I'll just skip the bridge and walk the long way around. So things may take time. Things may take time, that's okay, because everything happens in divine timing. We don't wanna go into a relationship too soon because if we still have a toxic way of thinking or we still have a codependent way of thinking, we get into a relationship, that's the relationship, that's the foundation that we built. And is that gonna to lead to happy, healthy, fulfilling, interdependent, long-term, stable? Likely not. Could, you know, anything's possible, but there's a, I'm going to say 90% chance that that's not the energy or what's going to unfold out of a toxic or out of, you know, codependent dynamic starting within ourselves. So instead of becoming a bridge architect, maybe I'll just skip the bridge and walk the long way around. Taking ownership is also great for burning calories, right? So let us go into our post call from spirit, Scorpios. 
and uh this will wrap up our reading it's interesting uh i think i was just hitting these cards and like these cards started coming out so it looks like you're going to be learning something um maybe looking into codependency or looking into how to build fulfilling relationships which can never hurt i mean hey if you're bored you're on youtube you have nothing to do look into it you know there's nothing wrong with that that can only help and not harm and it looks like a choice that you're going to make is going to bring a, a positive outcome here all right maybe things going in a new direction yay all right all right Dear Scorpio, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking that leap, no matter how dangerous it may seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings for today is leap time. Realize that no matter what, your spiritual support team will never let you fall. Your angels, your guides, God will not let you fall, get lost, or hurt yourself in any way on this situation. So even if it may feel as though you're in free fall, we are here for you and you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relax into this transition into something new. I love that. Ooh. Ah, chills. It's so interesting when we go from being in like toxic dynamics and then we shift into something new, it's very uncomfortable. But as we continue forward, it's like the angels sing, you know, as we grow, as we evolve, as we experience new outcomes because we behaved in a new way, as we experience new outcomes to situations where before we were expecting something different. So it's beautiful. So you can stop freaking out about getting hurt, stop freaking out about getting hurt, and relax. Relax into this transition into something new. All the elements are in place and your soul is ready for a new experience. Your soul is ready for a new experience, right? You know it, right? You're, you're ready for a new experience. Okay. So no matter what you're asking about, Scorpios, it's time to take the risk and do that one thing that scares you. Do that one thing that scares you. Do things in a new way. Do things in a different way you know behave in a different way see the outcome move in the direction of your dreams release and let go of these fears worries doubts and securities about it and just move forward in the direction of what you want because there is a beautiful outcome as long as you keep going forward what you wish for is going to manifest and is manifesting because when we have our eye on the prize there's no other outcome so no matter what happens you will land softly right on target don't worry about the outcome as spirit has got that covered it's taking the leap itself that's the point we love your courage we love your courage embrace it my scorpios these are the messages that i have for you for your love and romance uh, the end of August 2019. Again, to book a reading with me, go ahead and visit my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also book a reading with me today through the description box. So much love, so much light. Thumbs up. Like this reading if the messages resonate. Comment, share, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Many of you have been asking me questions also about soulmates and uh, twin flames and all that beautiful energy and those connections and i am going to be answering those questions for you this month so if you have any additional questions you can go ahead and ask me in the description box below i would love to answer your questions about that uh in the video that i do so let me know if you guys would like to know any more about soulmates and twin flames and all that beautiful stuff so i love you guys and i look very forward to seeing you here soon uh thumbs up like if the messages resonate share subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and i wish you the best of luck in this situation all your endeavors during the ending portion of august uh actually always i wish you flourishing flourishing oh my gosh you guys i'm so glad i'm done okay i'm done for today flourishing flourishing health and spirituality and blossoms. All right. Joy, love, peace. I love you guys. All right. I will see you soon. Bye for now.